Hi everyone and welcome to the class. I'm so excited to show you all the fun watercolor effects, but first let me briefly explain how this class is organized so that you have easier time preparing for it. We will go over the materials first. I will show you everything you need to prepare to be able to work with me throughout the class. I will provide you with info on the specific materials that I was using, but also suggest alternative materials. You can download a PDF document that contains the list of the materials as well as the suggestions with links to purchase them in case that you might find that useful. And you can download it from the tab projects and resources down below this class. Next, I will show you how to mix your colors, even though in this class the mixing portion is kept to a minimum as we are going to be using minimal color palette. In the following two lessons, I will show you how to create watercolor effects. We'll create a sample chart that you can use as your reference for future paintings. We'll then do a simple watercolor exercise on how to apply effects. This simple yet lovely watercolor painting of a feather will be the result of that lesson. And once you've accomplished all that, it is time to start working on our class project. First, we'll create a sketch together using grid method and my template. Or if you prefer to skip to painting right away, you can always download my sketch and trace it to your watercolor paper. Next, we'll paint the wolf in two phases. First phase will be wet in wet approach when we'll also use effects. And the second phase will entail adding details and final touches to the painting. You'll be surprised what a wonderful collaborator watercolor effects can be. They will always enrich your paintings and add that wow effect without much effort on your part, which is fantastic. And if you love your class project and want to learn a bit more, there are three bonus lessons with step-by-step -step instructions on how to create a little more advanced watercolor painting, but that's still very manageable even for any beginner. And the front view of the wolf that we'll create as a bonus painting in this class is really worth your while. Don't forget to check the projects and resources tab down below this class. You can find all the additional resources in there, such as sketches and process photos and that will help you with a better overview of the entire process. And now we are ready to start.